How you doing today? Uh, this video is about hair growth. Um, I was losing my hair when I was just turned about 30 years old and uh, all my hair was falling out when I was teaching piano. Check out my other videos on piano and learning to play piano and guitar. I'm a musician, had no intentions of being a growing hair, but my hair was falling out, lived at home. I'm Italian, had the best fresh food cooked every day. Every single day fresh food and my friggin' hair is falling out. I'm tired, sleeping 10 hours a day. And so I quit everything till I figured out what it was. My mother helped me do the cooking. It took about seven years to figure it out. But the damage I did that first seven years has been the hardest thing to recover. It's taken me 20 some years to figure that part out. Um, this is my pictures of what I used to look like. As you can see, uh, that's me. You can see. Can you still see, do I still look like that? Okay. And anyway, you can see the back of my head. You can see here where I was losing it down here. This is very dangerous. This is almost like a lifeline. When you start going through here, you can figure heart attack or what, it, this gets real bad. There's my side views. There's my, from the top, from the head. You can see that's my, my pictures here. If you can see, that's me. Yeah, yeah. How's that look, duh? Hey. But I got to get it back. I want it all back. I tried to get it all back before I did a video, but a doctor friend of mine said, you know, if, if you can help a little bit, it would do. This is what I've gotten back so far. Undoing damage. Once you go totally bald, once you lose your eyesight, once you lose, how do you get it back? That's the hard part. Uh, it's all about diet. You're eating too much carbohydrate, which puts you in a state of temporary diabetes. Diabetes is what ran in my family. Everybody's kicked off from it. And so I wrote this book in 1988. I'm going to have it on eBay. Uh, it's only like 16 pages. What it does is help you figure out your carbohydrate number, uh, what you're eating in carbohydrates. Carbohydrates is just another name for sugar. But every fruit and vegetable and grain has sugar in it. Chicken, fish, meat, and eggs, zero carbohydrate. Uh, you have the the blood system only has a, a a teaspoon of sugar in the blood in the homostasis condition all the time. So imagine if you eat you're eating uh, twenty, or if you're eating a a, a cup of a rice, you'd be eating that many that many sugar cubes. Each one of them sugar cubes is two grams. That's a cup of rice. A cup of rice. That's how much sugar you're eating. You eat a cup of pasta. With a little sauce, that's how much you're eating. It's easy to eat four cups of pasta or four, you know, two or three cups of rice. There are 50 grams of carbs per cup of rice, white rice, or pasta with sauce. 50 grams, so that's 25 sugar cubes. A sugar cube is two grams. So when you look up foods that you're eating, um, let me look in the camera here. When you look up foods that you're eating, you're going to see that the, the, the amount of carbohydrates you're eating is two grams per cup. So like, let's say most, some of your breads are 20 grams, a slice of bread. That would be 10 sugar cubes, 10 of these, right? 10 sugar cubes, because a gram, this is two grams and a, a slice of bread, which is 20 grams, would be two, 10 of these, which is two. This is two grams. A slice of bread is 20 grams. So two times this would be the 20. And if you eat a cup of broccoli, you're eating three of these. That's it, three. If you eat a cup of rice, you're eating 25. If you drink a Coke, you're eating about 25. Um, if you're eating some of these drinks at these soft places where they have like uh, uh, ice cream drinks and stuff like that, I seen it that has 63 of these in one cup, like 16 ounces, maybe 20 ounces, 63 of these in there. I mean, this, you only put one or two in your coffee, three. Imagine eating 63. So you wonder, first symptoms I've got in the book about when your carbs get high is your sugar. Your sugar, the, the first symptoms that I come out with are you get tired, lack of energy after eating, heaviness, blurred vision, scalp itching, never feeling satisfied, burnt looking hair, that burnt looking receding gum line, shiny, oily scalp forehead, discoloration patches on your shin bone. The, the objective is here that your heart is on your left side. And so the furthest places from your heart are the top of your head, right? The first place from your heart is your head. And the furthest place from your heart, 
for hair follicles is your ankles. So usually when you're balding, your hair is gone because it's furthest from the heart and the smallest blood vessels feed the hair and the ankles because it's the smallest blood vessels furthest from the heart. Those are the first to go. When you have high blood sugar, I'm not a doctor. Go to the doctor, go to the nutritionist, go to anybody that can help you. But this is what I've been working on for 30 some years, okay? So I'm still working on it, studying every day because I want to feel good and I want to have a lot of energy. I'm playing music, check my videos out on YouTube how to play piano, um, but hair growth is, why you have thinning hair, why you have lost hair, is because it's not getting enough blood. That's one of the, one of the symptoms, one of the ways that people lose their hair, but it seems to be the most common way. Um, and so I have a chart, you know, this comes with the instant piano, this is gonna all be on eBay. Uh, it tells you how many grams per cup, uh, how many sugar cubes are in the foods you're eating. This is all carbohydrate numbers that's in the back of the book. You can also look it up online, see all those numbers, how much protein, there you go, how much protein, carbs, and fats are in foods, okay? So that's what's important. For instance, if you eat a cup of, uh, let's say you eat uh, a, a, a grapefruit, you're eating uh, one whole grapefruit's 22 carbs, so that would be uh, 12, 11 sugar cubes in a grapefruit. Okay, if you eat an orange, which is just as large, uh, one large orange is 17 uh, carbs. So two times seven would be about eight, eight or nine sugar cubes. Uh, look here, if you eat prunes, dehydrated prunes a cup, you're eating 50 sugar cubes. Do the math. It's all mathematical. It's all online. It's all scientific. And you can figure out what you're eating. Everything should be divided by the the how many sugar cubes you're eating in anything. Uh, chicken, fish, meat, eggs has none of this. Grains, uh, fruits, um, any vegetables, they all have a certain amount of this. That's what makes them taste good. Okay, we all like sugar. Anyway, you gotta find your number, how much insulin you produce for how much carbohydrate you're eating. If you're eating more carbohydrates than you produce insulin for, you're going to be in a state of temporary diabetes. You can get a blood glucose test or you can check how you feel, your symptoms. Usually when your sugar's high, you get pale, you feel tired after you've eaten. You know that thing about everybody says, oh, I'm tired after I've eaten. Whatever day it is that you know, you've had a nice big meal and you want to take a nap, forget about it. When your sugar's high, the first thing you should do, or when you feel tired or sleepy, 20 to 30 minutes after you've eaten, go for a walk. Start walking, and you'll see your energy come right back up because you're burning the sugar down. Remember, your blood system only has one teaspoon at all times, and the rest of it's got to be stored into the fat of the body. So this is, you know, I mean, this is ongoing. Atkins, the Atkins diet, why does it work? Atkins makes you lose weight because you're putting yourself in a state of diabetes, by not eating too much carbohydrate, and the body would rather burn its own body fat and own protein than, than uh, uh, you know, and it would rather burn its own, would rather burn sugars and carbohydrate, but since you don't have sugar and carbohydrate, your, your protein uh, doesn't get broken down and, and assimilated, so that's why the low-carb diet works. Anyway, it's all about microvascular circulation. All the symptoms with diabetes people, you've noticed what happens to them. They lose hair, they lose eyes, they lose gums, they lose teeth, they lose prostrate, uh, cold women, she's cold, um, uh, feet problems, circulation problems. These are all the first signs of high blood sugar as you keep damaging your circulatory system from high blood sugar over and over. You know, some people can handle four shots of whiskey. You may be able to handle one before you get drunk. Everybody's different. All food is good. Everybody's different. But you got to find out how much uh, carbohydrate you can handle or how much insulin you produce. That's why people shoot up a certain dosage of insulin to assimilate the, the sugar that's in the diet to go into the muscle. And that's what insulin does. So if you want to grow your hair, the movement gets the sugar burnt down. And it's always about high blood sugar or low blood sugar. Low blood sugar, you start, I've got the symptoms in this chart here. Low blood sugar is when you you have wheat, wait, waited too long to eat. So you're down here. High blood sugar is up here. You really want to stay with your blood sugar 
you want to stay somewhere in the middle like that. This is all the stuff that's going to come with that in the uh, the hair growth book, uh, which is only 16 pages plus a few of these flyers. But the key is it's exactly you got to find your number. You got to know what's making you not feel well. Uh, you can see my hair. The stuff I damaged a long time ago is what is still trying to get back. You know, when you damage your hair, anything that you damage your eyesight, you, da you lose your, it's hard to get the stuff back. So you want to do preventive. You want to, you, want to, you want to try to do everything you can before you go totally bald, before you do all the damage, before you kill all the follicles, you know, before you go blind. Number one cause of blindness in this country is diabetes. I'm not a doctor. Go to the doctor. Go to the nutritionist. Talk to anybody. Look online. Look at the carbohydrate numbers. Remember, anytime you're eating foods, just do the carbohydrate. Look at the sugar cubes. Two grams of sugar or one sugar cube. So if you drink some of these, these pops have, you know, 70, some of these yogurts have 25 sugar cubes in that little six ounce cup. 25 sugar cubes in a six ounce cup, that means you'd be eating 12 of these. If the carbohydrate number in a six ounce cup is 40, you're eating 20 of these in that little tiny cup, which is only six ounces, which is about there. You know, it's about there, you'd be eating 20 of these in one little cup of yogurt thinking you're doing yourself some health. You got to do the math. You don't do the math. You know, it's like like shooting five shots of whiskey and say, "Oh, I won't get drunk." You got to know how much you can tolerate, and that's about what what this is all about: finding your number on how much carbohydrate you can tolerate. When I wrote this book, I did it. it finding the problem was the problem was finding your number. You can see here that's what we that carbohydrate is your number. What is your number before you get symptoms? Do the math when you eat a meal. I try to keep my carbs around 30 to 40 carbs, which is 20 sugar cubes every two and a half hours. Your blood sugar burns down every two and a half hours. So within 30 minutes, you're gonna feel what your symptoms are. It's like drinking water. As soon as you drink it, you feel the satiation of drinking water. When you eat carbohydrates or food, within 20 to 30 minutes, you're going to feel either your energy is coming up or it's coming down. If your energy is coming down, you get to get head to the door or start moving around or, and get the, get the sugar burnt down. Once you get to, because when you're walking and, and you force the sugar into the bloodstream uh, and force it into the muscle, and that's how you lower your blood sugar. So anyway... I'm still working on this. I want big hair. I didn't want to do this. I was, my goal, my whole goal was to play music. I'm a musician. This is what I wanted to do. You can see that's me. Uh, this was 1987. I'm still working on it. I have the copyright on this system. Um, I do it every day. If I don't do the diet, I suffer too. So, you know, we're all trying to feel as good as possible. You feel good, as my mama said. Everything's good. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, check my videos on YouTube. I'm playing guitar, piano. I like to sing. I um, played out for years. Um, and I'm still working on this diet. I'm going to be doing more video updates. And uh, I'm going to have this uh, this system. I also have Instant Piano on, on eBay. And this is also going to be on eBay if you're looking to... Uh, you know, get the, the booklet. But I just covered pretty much what's in the booklet, so it's free. But it's good to read it and reread it and know exactly what you're doing. When you find your carbohydrate numbers, everything starts healing. Your body just starts developing, you know, and and, and, and high blood sugar is what the, the damage is, you know. I guess the Paleolithic diet when we were cavemen or whatever and just walking and eating, uh, you know, not eating a lot of carbohydrates that was the, the, the caveman's strength, okay? Anyway, talk to you. I hope to have some further videos coming through. Um, you know, and the, the love and the search of the truth keeps coming on. We keep, keep trying. Molto bello, italiano. Ciao, ciao. Ci vediamo, huh?